Welcome back to another video guys today we are working on this Lexus NX model and what we're going to be installing today is some roof crossbars that go across the top of the front and the rear of the vehicle. This allows for installation of cargo tops, roof racks, some lights, whatever you could think of. So let's get this going guys. Okay first of all this is the part number for your crossbars. Check your local parts department for availability. This is what comes in the kit. The kit comes with the front crossbar. Also comes with the sets of keys. I already opened the ends. Comes with the rear crossbar. It comes with some rubber liners that go to the center, some sticky pads, and more sets of keys. Okay, first we're gonna be doing some prep work. We're gonna clean that area where the holes are in the front and the rear. I'm using a greaser on this rag and just cleaning it so okay, we're gonna use a sticky pad with the three holes for the front of the vehicle and the one with the two holes on the rear so I have this area of the vehicle covered is where I'm gonna stand on so I can install my clear sticker I already installed it but let me show how it's supposed to look Okay, right here where the three holes are at, you can see that there's a clear sticker on there. You want to leave the holes exposed because that's where your crossbar is going to go. You got the front two or the rear two options for the crossbar. So I have the rear section of the vehicle covered where I'm going to stand on just to show you the rear sticker. So I already installed it. You want to leave the holes exposed where the crossbar is going to go. So we installed the front and the rear. The same process for the other side. Once it's prepped, stick on the stickers, leave both all the holes exposed, and then you're ready to move on the next step. Okay, next step we're gonna open up the sides of the covers on the crossbar. I already did the front. Let me show you how to do the rear. Same process. Insert the key and twist. You wanna pull out the cover and set it on top of the crossbar like so. You do that on both sides okay so this is the adjustment for your crossbar as you turn it clockwise it closes in this section turn it clock counterclockwise it opens it up okay we're gonna install our crossbar they make it really easy they label it on the bottom f l for front left and f r for front right Go ahead and install it okay so i have placed the cross member on top of the roof you see right there those are the guide pins that are going to go inside the holes where we left exposed when we put on the clear sticker i have chosen to use the front two holes you could use the rear two if you want to and this is really simple guys don't pay a shop to install these crossbars for you when you can do it yourself Really simple, easier than building IKEA furniture. You just align the guide pins to the holes. Once you have it lined up, you just pull it through, just like that. And you want to loosen up your your rear adjustment on it, so it wraps around the bar on the body. Once it wraps around, then you could tighten it. It gets kind of tight, but you just turn it till it clicks, just like that. You want to line the angle on this screw as shown in the picture down there. It's really simple. Once you have both lined up, you tighten up the other side as well. Wrap it around, tighten so it clicks. Line up the screw to the picture. Really hard to mess this up. Once you're done tightening it up, you want to adjust the cover like so on both sides. It's going to be the same process for the rear bar. It's labeled on the bottom, it's dummy proof. Rear right on the other side, this is the rear left. Got it set on top of the roof, align the holes on the pins. Loosen up the back side of the bar so it wraps around 
Once it wraps around, you tighten it up. Same with the other side. Lined it up already. Click. Angle correctly. Set it like so. Forgot to click this side. Let me tighten it up. Click. Adjust it. Bring the cover down. Let's move on to the next step. This is going to make your life a lot easier. This silicone spray. Spray it on the other underside of the rubber strip. Want to lube it up. Make installation easier. I'm using 3M dry silicone spray. After time it will dry. So it won't move around after you install it. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab it. The way you do this, you just line it up. Really simple, guys. Like I said, don't pay somebody else to do this. You can do it yourself. Slide it through till it's flush. Any excess sticking out, just go ahead and, and cut it. Just like that. Once you have it set, you want to install your cover. That's how you do it. It has little hooks on the bottom of the cover on both sides. That go first in those holes. One right there, one right there. Install the bottom part first. Once it's hooked on, you just push in the top like that. You want to lock it up with the key, pull it out, check it, it's secured, do the same on the other side, hook it on first, on the bottom, put the cover on, turn the key, and remove. The front is done. Put on the rear weather strip. So much easier once you lube it up. This one has a lot left over. We're gonna go ahead and cut it. Once you cut it, install your covers. Bottom first, push up the top, lock it up, move the key, throw it away. Just kidding, don't throw it away. Keep it with all the other ones. Okay, move on to the last side. I'm gonna hook on the bottom piece of the cover and push in the top. Lock it up, remove the key, keep it somewhere safe. So there you have it. We have installed the roof crossbars on this NX. I believe the same procedures apply for the RX, just a different kit. Now you can put on your cargo top, your roof rack, whatever you can think of. I've seen aftermarket lights on top as well. Looks pretty cool, makes the vehicle look a little better. Pretty simple, right? Like I mentioned, don't go to another shop for it all. You could install it yourself. Have any questions, comment down below. Got more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or oh, the last step, I get all the keys. And of course, I let the customer know I put the keys right in the center console. Thank you.